Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today's video is going to be a little bit different. And it's going to be a tag video, so yes, I know there's quite a few of those going around, but this is one I'm actually starting, or at least I think I'm starting. So if you know of somebody else who's actually done this video, would you please leave me a comment and let me know, because if somebody actually did start this, I'd like to give them credit for doing it as well. But the reason I'm doing this video is the other day I caught myself looking in that mirror, you know, the one with the 10 times magnification, and I was being very critical of myself. And I realized I was being very negative about an awful lot of stuff in my appearance. And that reminded me back when my kids were little that when they said something negative, I would make them stop right there on the spot and they had to turn around and tell me five positive things. It could be about themselves, another person, you know, just what they were looking at at the time, just had to turn it around to something positive. And that got them out of that negative mindset. So I realized I had let myself slip into that over the years as I've aged. So I'm starting to look at myself and just not liking what I see. and. I don't want to do that. I want to embrace what I have as I grow older. So I decided to come up with a tag where I list off 10 things that I like about myself, that I love about myself. And I'm going to challenge a few people to do this video as well at the very end. So stay tuned to the very end so you can see who I'm tagging. So let's get started on this. I'm going to list my 10 things. But before we get started, actually, um, I want to mention when I was kind of thinking about this, I came across a video by a channel called Skip to My Lou that was called Why We Look Better in the Mirror Than in a Picture. And I'll leave a card up here to this if you want to go see that. Um, it talked about the symmetry of our face, and that made me wonder, why do we look better in the mirror than in a picture. So what I did was I took one of my photos, got into my Photoshop and stuff, and I just cut my face right down the middle. And I took the left side of my face and I flipped it and I put them together and then I did the same thing with the right side of my face. So it, I'm going to put the pictures up here so you can see them as we go along. So don't you see how it's interesting that the left side of my face is much thinner? And overall is actually the worst of my three shots here. And if you look at my right side, that's actually the best of all the photos. So that tells you that my right side of my face is the better side of my face. So when I take photos, I'm better off showing the right side of my face. And that's something I'm kind of challenge you to go ahead and do yourself if you've got the technical knowledge on how to do it or get one of your grandkids to help you out with it as well. But it kind of gives you an idea of which your best way to look. So if you are going to be in a picture, you know, which way do you want to pose? Do you want to have your worst side or your best side showing? Okay, so let's get into my 10 things that I love about myself. First one is my wrinkles um, or lack thereof. Um, I get compliments from you guys all the time talking about how beautiful my skin is and I, I've been saying, what are you guys talking about? No, they're there. I've got lots of wrinkles. And then I realized I'm 57 and almost 58 now, and I guess my skin actually does look pretty good for my age. I really don't have that many wrinkles or deep set wrinkles or fine lines. They're there, but I just don't have a lot of them yet. But I'm working on combating the ones that I have and slowing things down. I've never had Botox, I've never had fillers or any of that kind of stuff, and I just may get away with not having to do any of that, and I'd actually prefer not to have to do any of that. So just taking care of my skin. I'm going to love what I got. The next one kind of sounds kind of weird, but it's my feet. I think I have nice looking feet. I like to go in and get pedicures and um, show my feet off and sandals and things like that. They're small. Again, I'm five foot eight and I only wear seven and a half. So I don't have big feet or anything like that. I just, I like my feet. The next one is the fact that I don't have very many stretch marks. Actually, I don't even have any stretch marks. Um, I have three kids. I made it through all my pregnancies without getting a single stretch mark. And the reason being is I was a very extremely sick, skinny person when I was younger. 
um, in high school I had my tonsils taken out and I had some difficulties with that and I dropped down to 88 pounds at 5 foot 8 and it took me a very long time to put the weight back on. Uh, 25 when I gave birth to my oldest daughter I was 113 pounds when I got pregnant with her and if we fast forward seven years to when I gave birth to my last child I actually left the hospital only weighing 120 pounds so I was not healthy it was not something I was trying to do I was just way too skinny and it took me a long time to put the weight on but when it did come on it hit so hard and so fast. It was like my mid-40s, so about 10 years ago. Thyroid problems happened, my car accident happened, just a lot of stuff happened, and the weight came on very fast, along with some medications I was on. So now I'm working at getting it all off. But anyway, I don't have any stretch marks, so that's something I could like about myself. Uh, the next one is my eyes. So yes, I get compliments on my eyes all the time. My eyes are blue, they're just not this blue. And the only reason they are this blue and that I wear contacts is I am very, very, very nearsighted and farsighted. Like, so bad I can't see anything on the eye charts either way without having some sort of a corrective lens on. So that being said, when I am changing out my contacts, I cannot see a clear contact. So if I drop it or even have it on my finger, I can't see it because it's clear. So I need to have a little bit of color just so I can see the contact. And that's the only reason that I go with the color. Otherwise, I would be fine with going with clear contacts. But I like my eyes. They've always been something I get compliments on. So that's something I love about myself. The next one is my skin. Um, I've been blessed. I didn't have acne in my youth. And even as an adult, I haven't had problems with acne. So I think I have pretty good looking skin. So that's another thing I'm going to love about myself. And number six is my ears. I like my ears. They don't stick out weird. They're not huge. I even wear my heart earrings today just to show my love for my ears. I do have one ear that bends weird. I don't know if I broke the cartilage or something when I was younger, but see, this one doesn't do that. But anyway, I like my ears. Next one is my arms. I like my arms. Um, I don't know if I can show you in here, but I can actually hyperextend my elbows, which means I can kind of completely turn my hand around. I don't know if I'm even catching this in here. I'll insert a video of what my arms can actually do when I put them on a countertop. I can freak out little kids very easily with that. Oh, next one is my hair, and that's my hair when it's healthy. So again, some of you may have known I had a medication I was on last fall and it gave me temporary alopecia, so I lost a great deal of my hair. And it's growing back now, thank God, which is why I have such a lot of little hairs growing out now. Um, but when my hair is fully grown out and healthy, I love my hair. And then we'll move on to my eyelashes and a special thank you to Careprost for the length of my eyelashes. So if you haven't tried Careprost before, good lord, why not? I'll leave a link down below in the description box. It's a wonderful product, but it's really helped my eyelashes grow. Um, but I've always liked my eyelashes anyway, so I don't have on false eyelashes today. These are my eyelashes with one coat of mascara on them. And then the last one is one I always hated but I've decided to start loving it and that's my smile and the reason I haven't liked my smile is this one tooth right here sticks out a little bit it stuck out really bad when I was in junior high and then going into high school and I got a retainer which pushed it back into place but over the years it's kind of pushed itself back out again so I've always been a little self-conscious of that um, but I decided that I'm going to love that darn tooth. It's just one of those things that gives you that little bit of imperfection that makes us all normal. And I'm going to love that. So now I love my smile. And I smile all the time. Which is bad for my smile lines. But I don't care. It just shows I'm a happy person. So that's it. Those are the 10 things I love about my stuff, myself. <laughs> And I now challenge you to do the same thing. So even if I don't list off your name and you have a YouTube channel or you don't have a YouTube channel, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear the things that you love about yourself. If you have a channel and want to do this video, please feel free to do this. Just let me know because I'd love to go watch your videos as well. 
But the three channels that I am going to tag, number one is All, uh, um, All That Beauty with Lori. And I'm going to leave a card up here so you can go watch her channel. And then also I'm going to leave it down in the description box. Uh, next is going to be Pen with Pen Smith Skin Care. And the last one is going to be Ranolin, I don't know if I say her last name right, Nipo? Nipo? Something like that. Um, anyway, so those are the three ladies I am challenging to go ahead and do this video as well. So, it's on. Go ahead and do it. Figure out those 10 things that you love about yourself and let me know. And just give yourself a hug today. It's just a great day. Love yourself. Please love yourself. With all the negativity that's going on in the world, let's start spreading this around and making people start loving themselves instead of being so negative about things. That's what I want to see. So as always, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to hit that subscription button down below and also the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you are one of my regular subscribers, thanks for coming back to watch. And as always, you guys, I love you. Love myself, but I love you too. And bye-bye.